I feel great. Yeah. I feel great. I'm excited about the future and I'm excited about continuing a legacy that we've started to build and continuing on that legacy. Do you guys think you came out on top as far as the deal as a whole and the changes that uh, Commissioner Archer proposed? I, you know what, I, it's a process. This whole thing's a process and we're very pleased with the uh, agreement. There are some things in there that I don't like. There's some things that I wish were in there. But when you add up the sum total of it all, I'm very, um, I'm happy moving forward. And I think it was, it's good for both parties. Um, it's a good thing that I'm not a betting person. Otherwise, I would have probably lost my bet. I thought there was just as much chance of they're not coming to a finality or not having a lease agreement. Um, it's very difficult to try to put something together that you don't know where your other two commissioners stand on it. So um, outside of hearing them at the uh, table this morning as we discussed this, I had no idea what their concerns may or may not be, and I think Commissioner Archer raised some valid concerns, and we were able to talk through those today. Well, you know, I think you have to look at money as being part of it. You have to look at what is the purpose and what is the use of the Expo Center. Is the Expo Center there to draw people into the community or to serve the people that are in the community? You have to have that duality. You have to be able to balance out both of those. We have to have those events that are big. The Blizzard Bash, that's the number one demolition derby in the world. You have to have canine shows, Equifest. Those are bringing people to our facility that would never have come to our town. But at the same time, you have to have events and functions in the county for the people that live here. Admittedly, sometimes those aren't going to make as much as the other events. And you have to be able to balance those out. And I trust that you know HR Cook and SMG, they're a very professional organization. They're going to find events to bring. And I'm very excited about some announcements that we may have forthcoming about some groups and programming that are really going to be able to serve both the people in Topeka and Shawnee County and those from the outside of the Shawnee County to come to the Expo Center, see our facility and really get to enjoy it. But you're absolutely right. When you look at this event, this may not make as much, it may not make it, you know, may not break even, but you have to look at what is the purpose and this is a quality of life issue. But yeah, I'm real ha overall I'm I'm happy with it. I think it's a uh a good quality of life thing and it actually brings money into the city and the money that's spent there stays in the city as opposed to like the concerts and uh, the Shrine Circus and whatnot. A lot of the money that is spent there leaves the city and gone and helps depress the economy in the city. So overall I think having the hockey team here is a added bonus to the city. Not only quality of life, but I think it actually brings income into the city way better than any of these concerts and stuff that take a lot of money out of the city. Okay, are you a uh, season ticket holder or regular ticket? Yes, I am. Excellent. Okay.